everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Katie what we're going to do today is something maybe a little bit different it is going to be kind of a vlog traveling to little free libraries near me you can go on a website called littlefreelibrary.org and you can find out where they exist near you there are a lot of them I have seen them in the past kind of driving around but I've never actually stopped at one and when I plugged in my address on the map there's a lot more in my area than I was aware of so I'm gonna go explore a couple and see what there is there so basically what it is it's these little boxes that are kind of built in a bunch of different places and people leave books or take and or take books away so what I'm going to do today is I am going to maybe find books that I like or I am going to drop off books that I'm done reading and probably not going to read again so I took a bunch of books off of my bookshelf I'll show you what they are in a second but I'm really excited about this and I really like the idea behind it because the whole little free library thing is something that is very sustainable I mean libraries themselves are actually very sustainable too to go to a library and kind of take out a book and then return it as opposed to buying a new book however I do sometimes like to buy new books there are some books that I like to keep on my bookshelf I might want to read them again or I might want to refer to them for some other purpose additionally I do like supporting the authors who made these works who wrote the books and the really the only way to do that is by buying books now you can buy them on apps like a Kindle or something but sometimes I just do like to have a print book but to be sustainable it is better to take books from a library or to buy used books which I have done as well so I'm going to be dropping off a bunch of books at a little free library. So this book is called Every Heart a Doorway. It's kind of a young adult book-ish, maybe like high school. It is um, unique. It's kind of fantasy about traveling to different like dimensions kind of. I don't really know if that's what it... <laughs> I did read it. Um, so I will be leaving that. This one is called Before I Go to Sleep. Apparently it's also a movie. This really isn't like my style of book, honestly, so I will be leaving this as well. I'm also going to be leaving some kids books because I think it's important because kids might be going to these with their parents. People, honestly, like they can just take the book and give it as a gift. You don't have to leave one, but I will be leaving books if I take one and probably even if I don't take one. Um, so we have Go Dog Go and One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. We have The Power of Mindful Learning. This was actually like a textbook um, for a class that my husband had used for school. So um, yeah, that'll be going. Same deal with this called, I don't even know what it's called. Redefining Global Strategy. Actually, I might wanna read this one. Crossing Borders in a World Where Differences Still Matter. I'm really interested in globalization and stuff lately, so I might set that one aside. This one is called The Castle School for Troubled Girls. This is a young adult book. Um, this It was really easy to read for me, and I intentionally got it because it was easy to read. I was just looking for something that I'd be able to go through quick. And this is basically, as the title implies, girls who have kind of some type of trouble in their life, and so they go to this kind of like therapeutic boarding school. It was actually a pretty good book, so I'm not going to read that again though. This is called The Weight of Silence. I didn't read it, but I actually also downloaded it on my Kindle by accident, kind of like forgetting that I owned the print copy. So this will be going. Um, this is called College Girl. This is something I bought it a long time ago. I read it a long time ago. I'm literally never going to read it again. I'm pretty sure I only bought it because she went to the same college that I went to. I think she went to UConn. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I don't really have a reason to read it again. This is, I don't know how to say this correctly, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I did read this. This I actually bought at a used bookstore itself. And I really did like this book. I'm probably not going to read it again though, but I do want to read the other books in the series. So maybe I'll find one or I will purchasing them. And then this is by Jodi Picoult or Pico, I think maybe, and it's a French name called Leaving Time. So this is, I really like her. She's my favorite author. I do have a couple of books by her. This isn't probably not my favorite book by her. So I'm okay with letting somebody else read it. It's about 
Um, somebody who studies elephants, I think, and obviously she weaves in a lot of other stuff that goes on during that. But yeah, so this will also be another one. I obviously kept a lot of books on my bookshelf that I won't be donating. But this is more than enough to leave one at each location. I might not leave them all today. I might just leave a couple today and then save, save some books for when I go for a next time. So we are parked by where the first little free library is that I want to go to today. I didn't think this through real well because I don't know how I'm going to like hold the camera and do everything. I don't really have like a holder for it. Um, I did bring my real camera. I'm not using my phone. That's separate. But I guess we'll figure it out. There's also a little um, like deli over here and it's about one o'clock in the afternoon so I might stop and grab a sandwich while I'm here too but I don't know how many books are really going to be in these because it's like a small area there's also like a lot of people walking around and stuff so I feel super awkward like recording myself so we'll see how this goes Okay, there's literally like somebody recording me. So we found this, The Perfect Nanny, which is like the only book I've heard of in there. So we're gonna grab that. Most of the stuff that was in there was for like adults. So we're going to leave a young adult book in here. Uh, Hi. Find anything good? Um, I grabbed one and we will leave one. So I did end up going into the deli and getting myself a sandwich. I'm not hungry, but it's literally 1.30 in the afternoon and I haven't eaten much. So I'm just getting this purely just because of the time. And so I'll eat it. I know people talk a lot about intuitive eating and stuff. And I mean, that does work, except sometimes, sometimes I can literally go an entire day without feeling hungry. So I do have to eat just based on the time sometimes. So that's what we're doing today. All right, so we are at the second location that I wanted to go to today. This is right next to an elementary school. Um, school is in session, so I don't really want to spend a lot of time hanging, ar hanging around at this um, little free library. So I'm just going to grab a book, probably some of the kids' books, and put it in there because I think maybe sometimes kids might stop there. Okay, I feel a little bit bad about this one. Whoa, my lighting is like, ah, I look like a ghost. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to look like a ghost for a little bit. So, there were so many books in that one that I liked, which I really didn't expect. So, I actually grabbed five books, and I feel kind of bad because I left two. I left um, a kid one, the one fish, two fish, and then I left Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I kind of feel like I want to leave more now that I took so many. Sorry, I actually got a phone call that I had to answer. So, where was I? So, whoever leaves books at this place, I'm going to come here more often because they are interested in all the kinds of same things that I am, apparently. So, this first one is called Ships of Mercy. I don't know if you've heard of Mercy Ships before. It's basically a thing that you can volunteer with um, on a ship and they stay off the coast of countries. And, yeah, so I want to read that book. And then this is Three Cups of Tea. Ah, there's totally, like, an ambulance going by. Uh, okay, that's annoying. We're just going to keep talking. Three Cups of Tea. This is something that's been on my list to read. Oh, it's a fire truck. They're not driving very fast. There must not be a fire. This is also on my list to read. This is the first one that I saw in there that I grabbed. It's called Half the Sky. This is called Human Variation, Racist Types and Ethnic Groups. So this is like a really academic book, really. It, it's gonna be kind of a heavier read, but very interesting. And then this is just a fiction book called Emancipated. It says no parents, no limits, no alibis. And sometimes I just really like to read young adult fiction just for an easy read, especially after reading, you know, something more academic like this. So I am super excited. I'm literally gonna have to leave more books here. And the thing with these little free libraries, honestly, is you can keep them. You don't have to return them or you can save them and put them in a different location. So it's different than a regular library in that sense where you don't have like a deadline of when you need 
need to give the book back by and you're pressured to read it in a certain time so yeah on to the next one okay so we're at stop number three this one was a little bit more of an adventure because the other two I had driven by in the past so it was easy for me to know where they were to stop at them this one I had to use the map on littlefreelibrary.org and I just zoomed into my state and clicked on what was around and one of them it had an address so I put that address into my GPS and I think that address was the person's house uh, who like curates this library or whatever the little free library is really nearby so I found it it's in like a park area so we're just gonna walk up to there see what's in there and bring some books with me to drop off in there as well because this one is a park we are going to do a child book and this for an adult book It might get more popular now that it's getting nicer out and people are going to start bringing their children here to the park. These are definitely children's books. Alright, I'm not going to be taking any of these, but I will leave my two anyway. Okay guys, we're at number four. I did a really bad job at mapping out my day today because I like I'm kind of just zigzagging all over everywhere but so the thing is I just found this one on the map also and it's quite literally in somebody's yard so I'm just gonna go check it out real quick I'm gonna bring probably one book with me see if there's anything in there I want and then get out of here and on to the next one I'll probably just do five for the video let me know if you like this type of video though because there are so many more that I can go to and honestly I might just do it anyway so we'll see So I went kind of quick, I left two books and then I picked up this one called The Pig Did It, which sounded kind of cute on the back, I just skimmed it really quick. This one I don't know if I'm going to read, it's called Disappearing Earth, a novel, but even if I don't read it, I can always just drop it at another one of these free libraries in a week or so. So we're gonna try to find one more. All right, so this one's a little bit awkward. First of all, this isn't like a big outdoor shopping plaza area. And this woman just pulled up like right next to me and parked and she's taking her kid out. Even though there's like a gazillion parking spaces that are open anyway. So I've been to this shopping plaza like a gazillion times and honestly, I have never ever seen where this alleged little free library is so i'm just gonna have to go walk here in the plaza and try to find it i'm gonna bring two books with me there's also a bookstore here so i might stop at it we'll see but we will be donating the power of mindful learning and every heart a doorway um so the only two i actually have left are the weight of silence and leaving time by judy picolt um honestly i'm probably not going to read that book that i got from the last place through that one i'll save these for next time i go to little free libraries though and maybe i'll go to three for the next video and leave one book at each Alright, so that one was kind of a bust. There wasn't very much in there and I almost like didn't want to count it, but we're going to go ahead and count it. I picked up this book called Witness Voices from the Holocaust. So this was the only one in there that I would probably read and well I think I will read it. There was a Jodie Picoult book in there but I've read that one before and then I left my two books there as you saw or my did I leave one book I don't even remember um I was like super awkward feeling because like I said it's in the middle of a big shopping plaza and I actually found it right away I went to the center of the plaza where I guessed it would be and it was there but like people were walking by and stuff and I just felt super awkward also the woman who parked next to me didn't even do anything she just like got out of the car checked on her son in the back and then got back in the car and drove away which is whatever <laughs> maybe he needed to be checked on so yeah so this will be the fifth one for today and I will probably do another one of these videos simply because I just really want to go to more of these and I definitely encourage you guys to do the same you can always take one if you don't have anything to leave or you can leave in and not take one like I did or you can leave some and take some which is kind of what I like to do and so I've got three books 
definitely that I want to get rid of. Maybe I'll go through my house and see if there's a few more. So I figure I can go to three and leave one book at each next time I do this. There's definitely like a lot around here. So yeah, remember to click the subscribe button, give this a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think.